Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 just like TV. You know, so they want you in a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema. Say she won't get a kid in your ass. Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and every one. Just a check in, cause we give you guys some updates. Super body been blessed here, bless us all. We as first time over the Just Blex TV, just press the subscribe button for free. Notification bell all, you're not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, brand new week, new week, new beginning. So for those who went out this morning, reach one safe. No watching the Just Blex TV, just let the Almighty be praised. Cause I am a lent our days. Right, I would just go kick start with a Penwood Bay Farm Road intersection. A female just get shut up. Right, my people? Just see me. And we just say, yo, we not even know where I go on, but right now, yeah, yeah, me, me know the man, them half of the female, let me not start. Yeah, man, the man, them half of them, man. It's like they go right, the man, then dead, then go left, dead. Center the man, then dead. But me just say, right now, yeah, yeah, me a full time, no star. For them thing, I stop. Your sight, yeah, man, it get too numb, you know, brother. You know, every day you make news a female, you have to put say you a female shot dead or something to a female, brother. When it a go stop? Jaja. So we just say, peeps, that news young. Just a developing thing. So we just go just try move over now to our next update. Yes, my people. Yes, we are partially burnt by the found in Smoky Vale, St. Andrew. Right, my people, the body which up to publication time was still unidentified was partially burnt, the police said. It was reported that around 11 o'clock a.m. residents stumbled upon the partially decomposed body and summoned the police. On arrival, the body was seen laying face down along a dirt track. The body was observed to be partially burnt, also decomposed. You can see a late update on it. Yes, sir. We just as a peeps, just to be anywhere you turn, violence, dead. You know, quiet, quiet, nice, nice Jamaica right now. You're afraid, you know, just to be afraid for evil goat. So, peeps, Jamaican family stabbed to death in Queen's home by relative. Right, my people, that are going on, what are going on. So, a Jamaican family of four, including two children ages 11 and 12, were stabbed to death in their far Rockaway, Queen's home, early Sunday morning by a relative who was shot and killed by responding police officers. So, Courtney Garden, the 38 year old nephew of 61 year old Christine Watson, who was injured in the incident, was shot dead by the police after they responded to a 911 call. Right, my people, just see me, they just sad overall, you know, judge but I'm just glad how them get rid of the, 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 the suspect because this is not a good look at all, you know, and we just have to peeps every day so. So listen up, he was shot after slashing one policeman and stabbing another. So police reports are that one of the responding officers managed to pull his firearm and shot Gordon who had been leaving the house with a bag when he attacked the officers as they stopped him for questioning. So reports further indicated that the other police officers who responded to the scene were unable to enter the home as fire had been set to one of the coach. Right, my people, so the fire department responded and put out the blaze and entering the home police found the 11 year old and 12 year old, uh, 11 year old girl and 12 year old boy stabbed to death also stabbed and killed was 44 year old woman and a man in his 30s. Right, my people, Jassy B, he just said. So Garden had previously faced domestic violence charges in the Bronx. Yes, my people, the news team reported that his sister told the newspaper that he was taken into the far Rockaway home by his aunt after he had become homeless. So reports reaching the news team are that the police had been called to home on a number of occasions due to disturbance there. Right, my people, so Jassy B, this man right now, female, just gone. You know, man went homeless and him auntie take him in and that's so how the man go create the damage. It's just that she end up injured. So peeps, man killed woman injured as gunmen and soldiers treated bullet in Kingston. So a man was killed and a woman injured during a reported gun battle between armed thugs and members of the Jamaica Defense Force in downtown Kingston on Monday. It's reported that a group of armed men attacked and shot a man along Lower Chancery Lane. Right, my people, but you don't know me, they did an update earlier and saying that, you know, yes, so the man got shot and injured, also is a man killed, you know, yes, and that looked like one of the bad boy. 
but as a woman injured in the attack. You saw it? Yes. So peeps, just be just serious, you know, and thing. January now change. So Freedom Imaginaries criticizes government for rapid return approach to Asian migrants. Right. So International Human Rights Lobby Group Freedom Imaginaries has slammed the government over what it described as a rapid return policy approach for the growing number of Asians fleeing to Jamaica. So founder Malin Alini says the government's approach ignores the rights of asylum seekers by not allowing due process or for proper asylum procedures. Right, my people, but me just as a peeps, right now, to go on a Jamaica with violence and thing. Eighty right now, I come here just so. No, man, you have to, you have to strict. Right now, you are miss. You not even know where you are right now. A problem, problem, problem you are bringing to Jamaica right now. So, peeps accused in South Spring triple murder charge for another homicide. Yes, so additional criminal charges have been laid against former member of the ski gang, ski mask gang, Chavis Tomings, otherwise called Chichi, who was last week charged with the murders of two schoolboys and a man in South Spring St. James. Right, my people? So, the Tyler of Barrett Town in the parish was charged on Saturday in connection with the murder of 47 year old Anthony Forbes, otherwise called Platop of Flower Hill, South Spring, on October 27. He's charged with murder, wounding with intent, burglary, possession of a prohibited weapon, and using a firearm to commit a felony. The Montego Bay police say about 1:10 a.m., Tommings and accomplices broke into Forbes' house and opened gunfire at him before escaping. You are going, peeps. Jassy B. Your sight? So Forbes was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Tommings was apprehended at a guest house in his community on November 17 during a giant police military led operation. He was positively identified during an identification period and charges were subsequently laid. Right, my people? Jassy B. So after this money, you know, you see, this money, I go hard. Ah, this money, I kill three. And also, I get called up on the next crime, you know, people. I have to wonder what really I go around this side. But anyway, peeps, you don't know the whole measurement. I'm going to move over now. Look at the screen. Yes, this is Ichipang. And this is the man that got shot and killed. Yes, in Top Jungle. Well, peeps, this man laid to rest yesterday. I'm not telling you no lie. You hear me, peeps? Jassy B. Him thing put together. But you don't know when I highlight. You know, no gunman, but at the same time, people just are trying to show you, you know, how some friends shake up in our earth. So you have to just be careful of the friend them you keep. Which Ichipang wasn't an innocent man because I'm telling you, I did an update with him. A crime in Gokomi, none of them no live out. So parents cry out as Bustaman the hospital faces uh, judgment day. The nurse reward at the Bustaman the hospital for children seemingly is filled to capacity and if the claims shared by some parents are true they are feeling the strain as they and their ailing offspring are forced to cope with a shortage of bed space and staff several angry parents contacted the gleaner on sunday some next to tears as they outlined what they said is a total system breakdown at one of the few if not the only specialist pediatric hospitals in the english-speaking caribbean Right, my people, to get more around this, you can just go over to the Gleaner at Observer. Your sight, but me just a move on and just a carry on at the same time. So, peeps, teacher goes stressful two months without salary amid pregnancy back and forth over employment forms. A teacher who was pregnant and gave birth this past Saturday has accused administrators at Grateful Hill Primary School of bungling the hiring process, which has resulted her not being paid for two months. In an interview with the Glean on Thursday, the grade 4 teacher who asked that her name be withheld due to health concern said she applied for the position at the St. Catherine based public school in late September, having lived overseas and recently returned to the island. Right, my people, just be them need to pay the teacher them, them money. You know, it'll get from bad to worse. Your sight, so the woman right now stressed because what? Just be just, you know, have a baby Saturday gone and right now a problem. So, man, please for release from custody. A father of two made an impassioned plea to be released from custody, saying that his being in lockups is terrible. Your Honor, I'm begging you if you can reach out to the police or the complainant so that this case can be done. I have two sons at home, Your Honor, and I struggling without them. 
right? My people to get more this, they can just go over to the Jamaica star. But I'm just I say, brother, how you reach up in there in the first place? If you're innocent, you have a talk. But if you're innocent, brother, you have to just rub the penalty aside. Yeah, man, because really and truly star, more than enough to think before the act. Your sight, just remember the pitney them before they do certain things Cause a lot of them look young youth nowadays I breed up the girl them Carry out go thief, rob, kill and a dead left them Your sight, so right to say yo ya hear me my G We understand your plea But at the same time Do You have to know where you do And make sure say you're in there You know A innocent man a try jump out than a man who commit the crime Still a beg plea you know want to do the time. But anyway, peeps, I am out without a doubt. Share your comment in the section below. Peace out up top. Blessing ain't no stressing. And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?